This is Sandra Beasley for the Iowa Review. Fidelity, two. In some versions, his pericardium was pierced, the body bleeding water. Some say only the usual red. In one story, a full moon. In another, hours of eclipse. Where gospels agree is at the door of the cave, when a boulder rolls back and some woman, one Mary or another, names that first essential absence. It is April and he raises his fears every three days. He brings home a bouquet of muscular lilies. He waits for the miracle. She calls her name into a cave, and the cave answers with her name. Fidelity one. She did not mean to keep the whisk when she packed the kitchen of the apartment they once lived in. Night after night, he'd tried to emulsify soy sauce and peanut butter with a fork before dumping the tan brown mess on lettuce and chicken breasts boiled to lumps, good fat bubbling off to pool in the hollow of the burner. The whisk was an honest gift, curlicued in white ridged ribbon from a woman who trusted overpriced solutions to a man who thought anything could blend if he worked his hand hard enough. 